Alright, so nagbabalik tayo sa ating violin tips and tricks. And for today's video, I want to talk about shifting and extending or shifts and extensions. Especially for, alam mo yun, pag yung mga pieces na wala akong pyesa or covers and when you're improvising, how do you use them? Because of course, if there are pieces, usually nakalagay naman kung paano yung fingerings and the best thing to do is to follow them first. So, we will focus on yung mga improvisational techniques, no? Kung bakit kailangan mag-shift, bakit kailangan i-extend lang, or bakit kailangan gawin either of the two. So, basically, shifting and extensions are part of left-hand techniques, no? They do almost the same thing kasi you, sometimes we shift to reach higher notes, but sometimes we shift also, not just to reach higher notes, but to change color, no? Yan yung hindi na pag-uusapan madalas. Changing color using shifts and extensions. Why? Okay. So, let's first focus on shifting. Ano ba yung difference niya with extensions? So, when we say extensions, it's not always going up. When we say extension, it's going up or going down from a certain uh, hand position. So, for example, if I'm third position, ito yung, these are the notes that are naturally played with my fingers on the third position, which is sa E string, my first finger is on La or A, then, then my fourth finger should land on Re or D. No? So, when we talk about extending, Instead of moving the whole hand, we only move the fingers. So, if I'm going to extend out of position, so I can go to me. So, yun, nag extend yung aking fourth finger. No? So, that's how extensions work. So, I can even reach kung kaya F sharp. So, ganun. And it doesn't just work going up. It works also going down, no? So, we can also move down from one position without moving everything. So, yung extension sa baba, we can also consider it half shifts, no? Half shifting. Pero, half shifts happen kung after playing the note below, you change position. That's what you call a half shift. Okay. Yeah, so those are extensions going down kasi hindi naman umalis yung hand ko. What moved was my finger. So everything else is still there. So that's when you don't consider it a shift. You can only consider it a half shift if I move. So, if I move back with it, no? So, ano ba yung half shift tsaka full shift naman, no? So, we're done with the extensions. When we talk about half shifts, yun nga, the finger moves first. Yun yung kailangan nilang tandaan, no? Now, when we talk about full shifts, or yung, yun yung tinatawag natin shifting, is we move the whole hand. And the hand moves first, before the fingers. No? So, hindi tayo nagahabol. Hindi ganun ang shift. Ang shift, the shift comes from the movement of the hand, which in turn moves the whole uh, system or framing of your fingers. So, that's what's important about shifting. It moves the whole thing, no? Pero hindi dapat tayo malimit na we can only shift if we wanna play higher notes, no? Because there are certain notes that you need also to play in certain strings to maintain some sort of color. No? For example, if I want my this notes, so that uh, interval 6, diba? it changes color no? because I went from what? G string to a D string. Diba? So, dito pwede natin i-apply yung shifts to maintain a certain tone color or timbre, di ba? Versus So, magkaibang magkaiba 
marinig talaga natin yung difference of color. With the help of shifting, mas mapapalabas natin yung gusto natin. So, it doesn't just work from G to G. Minsan, kahit... Yeah, so, minsan kahit nasa A and E string, no? Because each string has their own character, has their own sound. And with the help of shifting, mas madali mong mahanap yung tunog na gusto mo. So, now, how do you use them both? No? So, I would suggest, if you want to really shift, is to consider the next notes that you are going to play. If you're going to shift from one position to another, consider the location of the notes that you're gonna play. So, kasi, usually, kaya tayo nag-shift, kasi nga malakihan yung galaw niya. So, we move everything. No? All four fingers come with you when you shift either higher or lower. So, you have to plan the notes that you're gonna play ulit. Hindi naman pwedeng Let's say yung, ano, yung Mozart this way. If you're gonna play that, hindi naman. Mahirap ka kasi pa palipat-lipat ka ng position. So, there are groups. Nakagroup sila when you shift, no? So that you become more accurate in your pre, uh, in your intonation. Kasi pag palipat-lipat ka ng shifting, of course, it's, it's the same thing as moving from one place to another. Lagi kang merong tendency to either overshoot or undershoot, which in turn can make your intonation worse rather than make it better. So, those are the things you need to consider as well. So, kailangan kung mag-shift ka, at least make it worthwhile. At least play at least not just the, the shifted note, no, at least two or three more and stay in that position as long as you are comfortable. Of course, kung kailangan mo din mag-change or there are open strings coming, that's the time. I would suggest you change whatever you need to change. So, kung may open string, edi balik ka ng first position, no? Trying to find out where the shift points are is also important. No? This is not just for improvisation. Na, man. We're talking about kahit sa mga prepared pieces. No? Pwede nyo rin gamitin yun, no? And how about extensions? You use extensions mainly if you're just gonna reach one note. For example, if I'm going... And then, ang susunod kong note, the next note I will do is... Something like that, no? So, I, I remain in my position kasi instead of... Instead of doing that, no? Mas maraming galaw. And of course, we have to also consider that when we are shifting, there are slides that are happening. Siyempre, matatago naman natin yun. You can hide those slides, but... It's harder to conceal those things than just extend it. So, it's more of being just practical and efficient with your movement. So, you, when you shift, try to make it worthwhile. Damihan mo yung nota dun sa position na yun, no? You can also go to other strings. So, because other people at that think that when you shift from one... Of course, you can play on that position on all four strings as well, no? And, of course... Pwede ka namang din mag-extend, half shifts, no? There are a lot of things you can actually do. But if you understand how shifting works, no? Minsan din, may mga pieces na ginagamit na. Something like that, no? So you shift the same note, pero in a different string to add drama as well. So you can also do those things, no? So just... Take note that when you're shifting, make sure you use everything that you have. And then when you're extending, you make sure na you can still go back. Because it's not just a matter of preference, it's also a matter of accuracy. No? Which movement should you use? Should you just extend kung isa lang naman? Or should you shift because it's more accurate? Because the other notes that you're gonna play is on that position as well. So yun yung mga dapat pag-isipan or dapat intindihin when you're doing either of the two. So, of course, I'm not saying that you should pick one over the other. 
every time but make sure you know when to use each one know their strengths your weaknesses on each movement and of course check out my other tutorials on shifting and extensions as well yeah i hope you learned kay dito sa bago episode if you did learn something new comment down below if you want more and suggest topics that you want to you know talk about here on violin tips and tricks and of course share this video like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content i also still have the course on udemy uh check out my album on spotify and of course reach out to my socials links down in the description box below i'll see you on the next video